It's moving day at Tiny Brambles. I can't wait to get all of my awesome pieces in their designated spot. This is my very first booth space and I am so excited. Oh my goodness, you guys, I am a hot mess. I am a big ball of stress because tomorrow I move into my very first vintage booth space. Now, if you've been following me for a while, you know I sell primarily on Etsy, so I'm usually just selling online, but I wanted to take my business to the next level, the next phase, and actually start selling in person. So my new booth space will be in a shop called Tiny Brambles. It's in downtown Portland. Now, you guys have heard me talk about this if you follow my channel. I've actually supplied a few like vintage pieces here and there on more of like a consignment basis but Blaine the owner had the opportunity to expand and he moved into a huge bigger space and that means I actually now get my own designated spot to sell all my vintage. So the reason why I'm totally freaking out that I'm moving into my new space tomorrow is because well one I'm just not prepared but also I'm doing an in-person market as well this week and I cannot believe I have two big like selling business opportunities happening in the same week it's just it's bananas. It is absolutely crazy. And so I'm trying to like look at all my inventory and figure out exactly what I want to bring initially to my new booth space. So I need a lot of product to fill it up. And as you guys know, I don't have a lot of product usually because I sell on Etsy. I'm a part-time seller and I usually keep my inventory very tight. So I've been Obviously, if you're watching my channel, I'm building out my inventory lot. And in this video, I'm going to show you all the pieces that I have specifically designated to go to my new booth space tomorrow. And then we're going to talk about all the other things I'm going to do to kind of promote myself in my booth space. So I'm a marketing consultant. So there's always going to be a marketing component to what I'm going to talk about. And then I'm going to show you what the before of the booth space is. And then we're gonna show you kind of what the after is after I kind of get a little bit set up, knowing that it's gonna be always evolving every day. So first up, I'm gonna show you some of the product that I have staged on my island right here that I plan to bring tomorrow to my new booth. Okay, so here's my very messy island. So right off the bat, you guys are gonna be like, this is not enough stuff. And you're absolutely right. So this is just a small selection. I have some things in the garage I'm gonna be bringing to. But some of these pieces you have not seen because I just got them. And some of these pieces you'll recognize from haul videos. But one thing that sells really well at Tiny Brambles, that shop that I'm going to have my booth in, is studio pottery. Like beautiful studio pottery. So that's why you're going to see a lot of studio pottery pieces because they do really well there. Anything mid-century um, does really well there. And so I'm definitely taking and reserving a lot of those types of things for this shop initially. And then of course I'll start to put in a lot of my other inventory as well. After I'm done with the market that I'm going to be doing at the end of the week, then I'll have a real idea of like all the inventory that I'm going to be doing. Um, but this you guys have not seen, I just got this stunning vase at value village and it was, I want to say it was like seven 99, which is crazy. So there's this amazing splatter, glaze effect. I nearly lost my mind. You can tell it is absolutely huge. Like it is huge. And then I also got um, this at Goodwill the other day. And then this, these two cute like native um, pots. I got these um, at Value Village. And oh, and then I got this guy. Was this at Goodwill? Or, no, this was at Value Village too. A little Tonal Owl. You guys know I love Tonala pieces, the pottery from Mexico. So yeah, these are some of the new pieces that I just picked up specifically. Um, I don't know if I ever showed you guys this very cool piece, but on Etsy, it has not gotten any attention. I think it's because it's black and black objects just do not photograph well for online. And so I think because you can't see the detailing. Oh, sorry. And then also, by the way, I've been spray painting all day, all of my, see, I have injured hand, like everything. I'm just, I'm a mess, you guys, I'm a mess. And so I'm excited to get this in person because I think it will sell if people can see it in real life versus online. And then I know you guys saw this and then I don't know if you guys seen all these beautiful mugs, but I've gotten so many Studio Pottery mugs. These sell really well at Tiny Brambles. They sell for about 18 bucks a piece is what we price them at, which is just crazy. Cause if I can get them for like this, $1.99, Totally worth it. And this I actually got from my thrifting bestie, Taylor. She let me shop her entire warehouse space and grab inventory. And so I have to show you all that. It is incredible. And let's see what else. Have I shown you this? I don't know if I've shown you guys this vase either, but isn't it insane? It's like super smooth, but it has these very rough edges that kind of remind me. Yeah, it was only $2.50 and I had a 30% off coupon, which is just 
crazy. So anyways, here are some pieces that I'm going to be bringing initially. And of course, there's going to be a ton more as I start to go through my stuff. But also this beautiful frame painting. This is of the Two Sisters Mountains in Oregon. So I think in Blaine's shop, so in Tiny Brambles, I think it will do well there because it's obviously local to us. Where online, I feel like there's less of an audience. And so I've had this up on Etsy for a couple weeks now and it hasn't gotten really any attention so i think in a local store it will because it is of a local mountain range so okay so here are definitely some of the pieces that i'm bringing so you have some wood items a lot of pottery some interesting just eclectic pieces so this is what this is like the stuff i gotta actually like take all the stickers off because everything still has a sticker on it and then I got to get it priced and I got to get it in its bin to go safely to my new boost space tomorrow. One of the reasons why I wanted to get a boost space outside of selling all this stuff. So much stuff. See you guys, this is what it looks like when you're prepping for all the stuff. But anyway, so the reason why I wanted a boost space was because I wanted something else to create content around for YouTube. And I know that sounds probably a little crazy, but YouTube and growing my YouTube channel and creating a YouTube channel that is big and vibrant and an actual income source for myself, I need to think strategically about the content that I want to create. And I know that creating content around having a booth space, curating a booth space, decorating a booth space is of interest to people. And so not only will I be selling product, which I need to do, Anyways, I also plan to promote myself as a YouTube personality in that actual space. And then, of course, use my experience there as content for YouTube. So anyways, this is definitely me pulling back the curtain from a marketing standpoint and telling you like the other reason beyond just selling all this stuff that I want to get a boost space. What motivated me to get a boost space? So anyways, so I got this cute little flyer made and then I'm gonna put into this acrylic sign that I thrifted. And so that way people will know when they're shopping my booth that I am on YouTube and they can scan this QR code and they can find me on social media. And then the other things that I'm bringing to promote myself are my cute thrifting is life cards. And they also have a QR code so people can take these away with them. And I designed them to be cute and that they could be pinned on like a board. I wanted them to kind of be fun. Of course, in this, like, thrifting is life. You know, that is my life. Literally my life. And then the other thing that I'm going to be promoting in my booth space is Vintage Scene PDX. So this is kind of like my act of service to the vintage community and reselling community. And I am curating and creating an account that just talks about all the vintage stuff happening in our local community. And so I highlight other resellers and highlight other shopping opportunities, anything pop up. So anyways, it's really fun for me to do and I want to build it out more. And so what better way to kind of get in front of local buyers, which, you know, of course, in your booth space, in a local shop. So anyways, I'm going to be bringing this with me and these, of course, with me. And then I'm going to have my signage. And so that way I have all the like, marketing things covered and that way anyone who's shopping my booth has more ways that they can follow me and consume content basically created by me so that is my mastermind uh, marketing strategy behind me getting a booth space okay so now i have the painful job of removing all the stickers from everything for tomorrow and getting them priced and wrapped and in their storage container so it's going to be a long night, a long night, but I'm so excited tomorrow to show you, well, actually probably in the next frame for you, tomorrow for me, in the next frame for you, you're going to see the beautiful, huge space that we all have to fill up with the most amazing vintage. I can't wait to show you our new shop. So the truck is all packed up with my new cool bamboo shelving unit that I got from my reselling friend, Angela. So she's forage finds. And then through there, I don't know if you can see, but that teak colored bookcase I actually got out of the trash of my neighbors so it's gonna come to good use so I made it downtown I managed to find a spot close to where we are going to be loading which is a miracle but it is a early Sunday morning so usually park gets a little bit better and we don't have to pay the meter yet and so my husband is unloading all of the shelving and I'm gonna load all the smalls and I can't wait to get in there and see the space for the first time. So I brought my extra large Costco wagon today <laughs> to wheel everything in. If you guys don't have one of these and you are a reseller, you need to consider getting one because the extra long is amazing. There's my cute husband bringing my shelves in because he loves me. Poor guy has to move me in today and then he has to help me set up for my market in a couple days. So he's gonna get some huge muscles. So this is gonna be my area 
So you can see like the tape on the ground. So between that blue tape and this blue tape. So it's really hard to see scale right now because everything is so open, but this is going to be where I'm at. And so my two shelves are going to go to this side of this pillar. And then I have to figure out what to do with these ones. I definitely need a lot more display stuff, but this is going to get me by today. Okay, you guys. So this is the shop as it is now. So you can see why we need to move because it is just filled to the brim with the most amazing vintage and it's starting to get lost when you come in here because there's just so many things to see. So now I'm going to go on an Easter egg hunt to find all of my things and load them up into my wagon and bring them over to the new shop. And then we're going to start moving everybody else's stuff too. So big moving day. Here is everything that I bought to put on the shelves today. I have of course a ton more inventory, but all of that is pretty much reserved for the market. And then whatever doesn't sell at the market will come here. But yeah, nice assortment of items. Can't wait to get them on the shelves. So we're gonna start setting up. Yay! And I'm gonna try to keep it on as long as I can for as long as my battery will handle it. So let's start the setup process. This is the final look of the shells at this point in the setup. I'll also talk to you about a few of the things that sold already. So that vase has sold. We've actually been open a few days now while I'm editing this video. That organizer sold. That piece of abstract art sold. I have so much art, you guys. You should come to shop the art alone. Then this little cute man sold and that brass rubbing sold and that wall organizer for a plant sold. And then on this side, I sold that little turtle box. So super excited how it's looking at this point, knowing I'm going to add more soon. Hey everyone, I am on my way downtown to my very first vintage booth space. I moved a few pieces in about a week ago and I already made some sales. And now I have a whole truckload of stuff that I gotta drop off. I gotta finish out the space, style it out. I am so excited to have it fully stocked, ready to shop. So let's get downtown. So I made it downtown and I actually got a spot right on the street, like right by the shop. So, so excited about that. Now I have to move in so many, many boxes and furniture pieces. Well, small furniture pieces, but yeah, it is car stuffed. I'm gonna show you. Okay, you can't see, but it is stuffed to the front. So this is all full. And then also in here, even in my kiddo's car seat, like filled to the brim. Front seat too. So got to get this stuff in there. So this is the side of the shop. Can you believe how pretty it is through the windows? I am so excited. Okay, so I have most things in. Uh, Blaine has a few things in my space because I told him to fill it out while I was pretty much empty. So I got to get those things out like that picture and a few other pieces of art. And then I got to build my table. I just put this here right now. I may want to put it on top of the table. We're also trying to keep like the middle area lower to have really nice sight lines. So I don't know if I want something higher blocking this area. So I got to figure that out. But uh, yeah, first step in getting the rest of the space organized is getting all the surfaces in place. So I got to build this table. I'm just 
organizing my grab bag stuff. So these are some leftovers from the market. And then I have some other things that I slated to go in the $15 grab bag. So I gotta make those up today. I think I'll put, I think I may put this guy in it. I don't know if it's gonna fit. I gotta decide. Um, not this tray, but these are the grab bag things I need to make in a bit. And then this thing will be for sale too, but I usually like to slot little pieces of art in it. So I will do that. And then I have my easels. I'm gonna put art um, displayed up along the shelves and stuff. And then I gotta clear this off and price it. And I gotta fill out these shelves. And then I gotta, of course, get this cleared off and just put this, I don't know if this is gonna be for sale or not. I gotta decide because I also, because I like it as a display piece. And then I also brought in this Mexican one, two to lay on top too, just for like a pop of color in the center. I also brought some books to put stuff on top of and I'll sell them probably for like between five and $10 a piece. So in case anyone really wants to buy it, they can, but really I just wanna keep it for display. So that's a wrap. All moved in. So this space is definitely going to be evolving. I still technically have another like bookcase thing for over this area. So we'll see if I actually end up bringing it. So I got to get out of my house. But I do love the way that it's looking. And I made a sale today while I was here setting up. So that's a good sign. And I got my grab bags going. So yeah, really excited to see what sells and see how this all goes. You guys, and all the excitement, I totally forgot to film a formal close for this video. So thank you so much for watching. If you're looking for more thrifting and decorating content between my haul videos here on YouTube, make sure you check me out on Instagram and TikTok. And for more details on Tiny Brambles, check out the box below. Thanks so much for watching.